You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content. Ricegang.myshopify.com. Log on to get your merchandise. So, ladies and gents, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. Went down today. I'm going to have the full card prediction, but I wanted to talk about this specific battle right here by itself because there's some things that I need to say. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. He had to work. Um, but we spoke and um, you know, he honestly didn't even want to recap this battle um, Rosenberg Raw versus T-Rex uh, You said the nigga that robbed you for your chain dead, right? Dead. When he about to get some company yeah. uh, I'm gonna be honest when this battle was first announced I said that this battle right here to me would have a lot of implications on what's gonna happen with Rock versus Rex, and I know Rosenberg Raw probably didn't want a lot of people looking at his battle versus T-Rex as a measuring stick or a barometer for things to come, but let's just be honest, Rex versus Rock, they got the crazier backstory, it's the bigger battle, and you know, most people wanted to see what was going to happen, so here we go. For those that did not see the battle, you know, I'm here for you, I know a lot of y'all look forward to the recap, so you know, we're just going to get into it. Um... Rosenberg Raw, I will say this, when it's all said and done and when this battle eventually drops or whatever the case may be, uh, he's probably going to get a lot of respect because T-Rex did everything in his power to ruin this battle. He talked during this man's rounds, he was calling time. It was a very, 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 very bad look for Rex. And when I was down, I robbed niggas like you just to come up even. Asthma pumped to his chest. He having trouble breathing. But if there's, if, oh, but, fucking it, serious. but if it's peace, but and I need to, for the fact that he's considered a legend, and you know he's been around for a while. He even admitted it in the 15 minutes of fame interview afterwards that you know well, the battle was scheduled for two minutes. So since if he goes over the time, I'm gonna do my best to fuck up his battle. Like this is the type of shit we like. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not pay for this event. I appreciate Rare Breed Entertainment for you know hooking me up because you know they you know they hooked me up to see the event. I recap it. You know so it's a, it's a it's a you know. Fair exchange ain't no robbery type deal. But what I will say is that I'm probably not going to pay to see Rex battle ever again. There's certain people that I just will never pay to see battle, and he's one of them. I mean, like, Rex really ruined this fucking battle. Like, he was horrible. Uh, Rosenberg Raw comes out in his first round. He has a couple moments in there. He's starting to heat up. The crowd is starting to feel him. He gets to about a little bit over the two minute mark and Rex is like talking through his rounds. He's doing this shit where he's like turning his back to him. He's like, oh, da, da, da. like when Rosenberg gets to a, a hot line, Rex is like, da, 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 da. y'all feeling that? I was, I was just like, this shit was so disgusting. Like, I promise you. Uh, Rex, when he spits his first round, he gets the grown man bar, something you gotta deal with. And by the time he finished that, a nigga was like, time! Like, they was calling time on him because they was just feeling the same vibe. Rex first round was cool. It wasn't too crazy. I mean, it was just cool. I got Rosenberg winning the first. And moving on, I got Rex Rosenberg winning the second and the third round. And Rex is all-time one of my favorite. But just with what he did, and the second and third was mad mixtapey. Mad mixtapey. I mean, this nigga's talking about all kind of just random shit that don't got nothing to do with nothing. Uh, in the battle overall, it just didn't turn out to be what it could have been because this whole talking while people are rapping, like, I'm never going to get used to that. And it's like the man, Rosenberg, is literally trying to rap his bars and he had some shit that he was trying to get into and it just, Rex was just talking through his rounds. He was, he did this thing where he was literally like snoring. It was bad, man. Like, it was really bad. Um. In the third round, Rosenberg Raw starts talking about Rex when he was talking about if she's old enough. You know, when he was talking about the little kid, uh, the, the, the fucking, uh, I had to make the airplane noise to put the food in the daughter's mouth and all that. You know, the little pedophile shit that he said back in the days with the, he's, if she's old enough to cross the street, then she's old enough to get hit. That, you know, Rosenberg started using that as an angle. It was actually kind of working. And then Rex in his third round, he was saying some shit and then he flipped it like, uh, 
He no Rosenberg was talking about the chain shit. You know Rex with the chain. The nigga got allegedly got killed. You know the same angles that they be taking on Rex. Then in Rex's third round, he said something about where your daughter at or something like where. Because Rosenberg Raw admitted that he has three daughters. And you know Rex said something about where your daughter at. And he was like, yo, you bitch ass nigga, we could take it outside. And the camera, ARP cut the camera and the battle was over. Um, overall, I don't really have much to say about the actual bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't have no lines. I was out and about. I listened, I watched the shit too and I listened to it. But I wasn't writing down bars, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because once the battles just started getting nasty, it was like, man, what the fuck is this? Uh, if this is a telltale sign of anything that Rex is gonna do versus Rock, he's not gonna win. He's gonna clearly lose. I had him losing going into it, but I have him clearly losing now. And, you know, I think Minnesota Luke. I, I said earlier I was willing to bet whatever. But, you know, you really can't bet with people like like Twitter fans or people online because they'll just, they'll literally disappear. If you bet up with somebody and they lose the bet, they'll just disappear. They'd rather disappear than to actually pay you. So if you're established and you're known and you want to bet me, I will bet you that Rock is going to beat Rex. It doesn't even matter what you want to bet. Like, I'm willing to bet that. Um... Rex was very, 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 like he was crying about the time. And when he wasn't crying about the time, he was talking through the round. This shit was just disgusting. Like, I don't know what's in the contract. ARP, these two minute rounds. First of all, Rex, I got this for you. Uh, I know you was talking about a chain. You could put this right here on the chain. Uh, Cause your L, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, you, oh well, make sure you catch that L. I got it right here for you. Um. It comes with unlimited supply of L's. Uh, you got smoked by Rosenberg Raw, and I think he, was, he even said it in the post-battle interview. I got rock in two weeks. I got rock in two weeks. I ain't got no 10-minute rounds for you. I'm not writing. Like, he basically didn't respect Rosenberg Raw. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. Like, he may have acted like he did, but he really didn't respect him. So, to talk over his rounds, talk through his rounds, and shit like that. Hold on, let me get a sip, man, because Rex is a trip. To talk through that man's rounds like that, shit was super unprofessional. Uh, I don't know what kind of agreement ARP and them had, but uh, it was what it was. Uh, saw some more battles that night. I get into the rest of the event recap. I'll do that. I'll do this one right here, cause you know, special delivery, spe special delivery on the L's, and then um, I'll recap the rest of the event. I'll go through all of the battles and what I thought. But uh, this one right here, scale of one to ten. This battle gets about a four, and it's all for Rosenberg Raw. Four Raw, Raw, four Raw, you got that? I got a four for Raw. And then the Raw, and that's Raw's performance. It was very, very hard for him to get through his material though. You know what I'm saying? Like if Rex would've just be quiet, I could listen, I get it. You don't want nobody rapping no extra round and shit on you, you know what I'm saying? No extra 10 minute round and shit like that. But if you are telling the person, yo, time, and I get it, but when you start talking through his round, that footage, when that footage drops, it's gonna be the most probably unwatchable joint. It has no replay value. Rex literally ruined the replay value of this battle. And going into it, I did watch Rex versus Bill Collector earlier today, and he was doing a lot of the same shit. The talking through the rounds, turning his back on him and shit like that. And I'm sorry. Listen, this is a new era. That type of shit, it is not... I don't even know when that shit was honestly acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Rex needs to end that shit expeditiously. Because if he brings that into the rock battle, it's going to ruin that footage too. And Rex has proven that he has no problem ruining footage. You know what I'm saying? The leagues should get a little bit more respect because they're actually paying the artists all the promotion. And the niggas who really talked about this shit and promoted it, you feel, you feel duped too. Like if I do like all these blogs and we do all this promotion and get a battle all hype and then some shit like this happens. You like, man, I just wasted my fucking time. I could have been doing something else, but I'm talking about a battle that you gonna come into and talk all through a nigga rounds and like, psh, psh, psh. he did some shit like, mm, like he was snoring. It was definitely unprofessional. It was, this shit was sorry, man. And um, hopefully I never have to watch this battle again, whether it be on replay, review, they better not even show this shit on the plane. They better not show this motherfucker in the barbershop. Like, I never, ever, ever want to see this battle again. And it really ain't Rosenberg Raw's fault. That's the honest opinion. It is not Rosenberg Raw's fault why this battle was so bad. I want, if you take nothing else from me, 
take from me the fact that Rex ruined the battle. I think I'm going to even put that in the title of this video. Rosenberg Raw vs. T-Rex, T-Rex absolutely ruined the battle. Ain't no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, salute to ARP, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. I understand what y'all tried to do, but that shit didn't go nowhere where you thought it was going to go. There were some other battles on this card that were better. I will talk about them. I will give you your props, and I will give you your admiration in that regard. But put this shit right here in rice. That is the total definition of what Rice Gang stands for. People ask me all the time, what does Rice Gang stand for? What does Rice Gang stand for? Well, R-I-C-E, really in competition with everybody, but really, Rice stands for what this battle is. When your phone gets dropped in the water, you put it in Rice. When, cop, when people want to hide dope from the police, they put it in Rice. This battle right here is so bad, put it in Rice. I'm not trying to watch this shit no more, and I honestly don't even want to talk about it anymore. Rex, what the hell? You can't spell hell without including two L's. And I hope you get that shit together versus rock. Because if you come with this shit versus rock, you're going to get smoked. Well, you're going to get smoked any fucking way, but I'm just letting you know. And it was so bad that I asked Showtime SP to come through, and he didn't even want to come through to recap this motherfucker. I'm gone.